<clears throat> hello, hello. Hello, Gaffer. Hello, Pythor. That took forever. We're a little behind getting started this morning. Had to take care of, uh, uh, well, clicking next turn in Civ 6. Because Indonesia is a great Civ, and I love going for religious victories. And now we see if re-rendering everything causes the Minecraft to crash. That would be suboptimal. There we go! Better FPS options. Everything cool is on. Good. Alrighty. For space astronomy, astronomy, we definitely got to do first look. I guess we're playing in the biomes of plenty world this time. Lovely. Hello, Dakari. What could be better after yesterday's uh, combat pain than going for a pack that is ostensibly about stargazing? Doesn't get much more easeful. Galacticraft, actually additions, simple achievements, I assume instead of better questing? What is you? I have no idea what that tab is for. Cosmetic armor, normal armor. I don't know what these buttons do, but I love it. Astral Sorcery, Tinker's Construct, Lightning Craft, and Open Computers. So yeah, you can do all of the things. This is a cute little overhang that it started us in. I'm not unhappy about that. <sighs> Alright, uh... Actually... 
Astral Sorcery really is the new hotness, and I really need to kind of do a deep dive on it sometime, don't I? Alright, welcome to Space Astronomy 2! This book is designed to help you along your way! This book has no direct order, so checking out all pages is needed! Great. Read all the books, craft a wooden pickaxe, all the getting started. So yeah, it's just like here, have some things to do. Good luck! This is very sandbox-oriented, not um, heavily thematic-oriented pack. And I'm, I'm down with that, even if it uses Biomes of Plenty and Tinkers. I could use a little bit of a peaceful sandbox after yesterday. I think we all could. That was a bit of a... That was a thing, wasn't it? We have four Miner. Like, it'd be silly to have all of this other sandbox stuff and not or Miner. Or Excavation. There you go. Give me Conflex on left con- Oh, right. Sprint is default left control. Because reasons. Yep. Permissive or Miner. No, uh, Apple Core or Spice of Life or whatever. Hello, Void Master. Void Master. Welcome to, uh, we're playing a, uh, pack about astronomy, so your, um, punny name is extra appropriate. Fantastic. Basic Tinker's goodies. Oh, we've got a bit of a watery start, don't we? Uh, what do we want to look for, folks? We're getting started. Should I hunt for a specific biome or just set up right here and get going? Let me know, chat. Follow the coastline and see if we come up with anything cool until someone answers. And from Mentash, you got both. <clears throat> because I innately autocorrect words that I read into what seems like the intended English spelling. And then I saw that maybe you were trying to do a thing. And gravel beaches. Great way to get started. Get like six stacks of gravel out of this without even really been terribly negatively affecting the terrain. It'll be great. Why six? I don't know. Honestly. It was the number that popped out of my brain. Alright, we're done. I need some food now. It's okay, that's easy enough. Remember not to starve, folks. It is important. The lack of starvation. Got backpacks. Backpack. I do have iron backpacks. Fantastic. We'll definitely be making one of them sometime soon here. Have we got Pams? Yes, we do. Further fantastic. Let's go get a garden and uh, eat everything in it. Actually, there's a couple right there. Or is that rice? I can't tell. Whatever. It's food. It's actually additions rice, isn't it? It is! Om nom nom raw rice. Or when you're really that hungry.
I guess I could make a quick flint sword and go murder some pigs. Eh, whatever. We've got some saturation. We'll survive another day or two. And this is a cool little peninsula thing. I don't know. We've got a neat little bay here with a cool forest that we could set up at. I mean, you pretty much just swallow it and then wash it down with water. And, you know, you don't get a whole lot of nutrition out of it, but whatever. You're not going to chew it, I hope. That would hurt the teeth. There's like a sandbar formation going on. I think we're going to have to do an overland to if we want to keep trekking around the water. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Thank you. Give me boat. Uh, clay. Good. Once we have gravel, clay, sand, we have everything we need to get started on tinkers. And then it's time to pick a spot to settle down. Ooh. What is that? Or a tree, maybe? If you chew it, it's Chinese crisps. Um, I don't believe you. <laughs> yep, Sakura from Natura. Because, you know, this is... It's twenty late. It's late twenty seventeen current year argument, and we still use Natura. I eat the cattails. No, I should be able to eat the cattails. Hmm, some interesting weather things happening. Oh, cattails are brown dye. Well, I don't want them. Get rid of them. Give me the sand. All right. I actually need to take a moment, and there seems to be a storm blowing in. <laughs> we are 15 minutes into the broadcast, and I already need to uh, take a brief break. Yay, diuretics! Thank you for your patience, all 12 of you who stayed, which I think is actually all of you. It's a slow start today. After the amount of salt yesterday, I can hardly blame anyone for not coming back. So what do we got over there? We got some coolness going on over there. 
I've got a couple stacks of that. You know what? There's going to be uh, seven ways to do everything. Let's just go ahead and toss the nature of seeds and the extra biomes of plenty BS. Yeah, we definitely don't need nature of flax when we've got actually addition flax. Let's go ahead and we can condense some stuff. I played uh, Craft of the Titans. There, the salt was real. <laughs> Hello, Dean. But I'm confused. There is no shift clicky thing. Oh, probably because it's using uh, um, any eye. And the weird chicken thing is actually from my uh, um, YouTube banner, but no one ever looks at it in the right uh, screen mode to see the full thing. So it's hidden. Oh, huh. is there an actual tornado spawning? Definitely getting windy, and there's a bit of a cyclone forming there, but doesn't seem to be pulling anything up yet. What is going on there? That's odd. Definitely got some inclement weather happening. Yeesh. Let me get the heck out of here. Gnarly storm cell. Is it following us? Is this the movie Twister? Oh, jeesh, we've got lightning. <laughs> I mean, it's a cyclone, but to be a tornado, it needs to be, you know, um significantly like it needs to be able to cause some damage because there's that whole like Ujimitsu scale or whatever yeah i don't remember the actual name of it i'm making things up um super tall trees it seems like a bad place for a pack about astronomy you should find a mountain build an observatory on top of a mountain or you know that slime island T1s can cause damage, Dean. Just we build structures that are strong enough to withstand them. These days. Speaking as someone whose uh, stairwell was destroyed when I was a kid by what was considered a T1 tornado. Or actually was considered uh, too weak to be a tornado. It was just cyclonic winds of... Insufficient strength. Ooh, look at that. That's like a little mountaintop at the edge of the sea. There's like a volcanic uh, caldera thingy going on. We're settling here. This is great. We're gonna make this our own little personal Bermuda, rebuild everything, put a uh, observatory at the top of that. Laughing in European? I... I don't understand. Void Mastar. We will start out as we... as almost always happens by living in a cave. Crafting... Tool... Stencil... Art... Yes... Uh, make some boxes... I, I think it is following me, actually. Which is kind of funny. You know, in an oh, oh my god, why kind of way. Well, that's not what I expected at all.
lack of being able to click things in will always bother me. There you go. Really? Couldn't do any better? What? <laughs> there you go. We believed in you, and we were wrong to do so. I want one of you. I want one of you. Can't put them straight into the pattern chest from here, which is sad. Fine. I want one of you. I'm just going to start with a pickaxe and go to town. Get ourselves some stone. I apologize for the darkness. build very minimalist until we can get like some sort of bare bones basic tech going. Uh, I should make a flint maddock while I'm at it. It's one of you and one of you. Oh, and also one of you, doesn't it? Go plant our flax and rice seeds on the seashore. Yeah, there's going to be cold there. I'll be fine. Uh, uh. Oh, good. Industrial hemp. Think I would need to slap you, Dean? The auto mod catch something and then not show it to me? Is there like a chat moderation mode that I'm not seeing? Maybe I'm missing something about the way this auto mod setup is supposed to work. It's entirely possible. But I thought it was supposed to like pop up. Hey, there's this, uh, there's these issues with uh, chat instead of just removing things. I don't know if it actually removed anything though, I'm guessing, because Dean said slap me if needed. Uh, food. You didn't cross any line. I don't even see you having said anything since the T1 doesn't cause damage, Dean. That's why I'm confused. Oh, baby skeleton, that's not okay. That didn't work out. Oh, that's a problem. Forgot. I had no Ooh, hey, look at that. Astral Sorcery place. Oop. Ow. Geronimo! Or sploosh.
Whoops. Didn't think I was punching a sheep, but apparently I was. Whee! You haven't slept in four days and the vodka is starting to kick in. That's a lot of not sleeping. Uh, let's come back to that blacked craft stuff. Short portage required here. I like boats because you're safe at sea for the most part at night. Whee! Uh, there you go. Grid, 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 there. That's better. I did not go to college. Unfortunately, uh, university is very expensive in post-2000 America, and I neither had a family that was willing to pay for it, nor the financial ability to get the loans that would have been required. because my family made too much money. Chance cube. Well, I'm gonna be full of regret, but that's okay. Oh, I don't just punch it. I do, just not while swimming. If anything happened, I didn't notice. Also, you just move faster by boat, don't you? Than running around. I'm really glad that uh, whatever up, uh, really happy about whatever update it was that made boats actually function in Minecraft. Welcome back, Dean. I feel like we got the winning side of that trade-off, though, in between uh, boat elevators and what we have. <coughs> Wrong button.
And I didn't like that chest anyway. Oh, hey, I've got uh, mystical agriculture. Lovely. some bones. Okay, good. Not quite enough. I'm one string short. Need to briefly attempt to not die. For a little while. Then we'll be okay. Can I easily do with you besides paper? Grind it into flour. Anything I can do with just flour? Not so much. Flour mixing bowl egg to make butter? Batter. That makes a lot more sense to do with batter not so much okay well i got sugar um isn't there a bread that i can make pretty easily dough fresh water salt i have no none of the salt good night void master dean i'm not sure what post you're even referring to Hold, please. <sighs> that would be hollow. Sending me things that are not actually that important, so I'm not sure why they're being sent. Should be some things I can easily do with sugar. Yeah, I can make caramel with a saucepan. Need some iron. Really what it come down to. Hello. Oh, I thought I got a bone. Oh, well. Yeah, I think that uh, something's weird with my chat settings and Twitch. I'm going to fix it for the time being. Give me just a moment. I've got the auto mod option cranked up because I wanted to uh, try something, try it out, but it seems to just be flat blocking things. It's not giving me the, here, approve this. I mean, I could also kill myself and come back uh, and that would solve the issue, wouldn't it? But, you know, that seems more viable than... Uh... <sighs> Fishing. I hate fishing.
I'm not even, as far as I know, using a mod, a bot, Dean. I'm using the built-in Twitch auto mod system. It's just failing me hard. That wasn't what I meant to do. Oh well. Yes, I can, Cooper. I'm entirely certain why there's sandstone down here in that cave, but okay. Juveniles with troll names following all day, every day. Is there like the tiniest bit of a desert con on the edge here? Oh no, it's considered a beach biome. Because it makes sense that a beach goes up, you know, 30 meters from sea level. I could get food from being an egg host. I don't even understand, Dean. Hello, person whose name I am not saying on stream because we keep things friendly around here. And that is not a PG appropriate website. So I'm kind of erring away from straight up banning you for your username because I'm not certain. It's really not, Dean. It's not okay. It's juvenile. It's pointless. It just means I'm not going to pay attention to them much. I know. We'll call you Hoff. It's H-O-P-H. Fishing, the fun way. If I had a spear, this would be perfect. Yeah, this is the highest point on the mountain. That's where we'll be setting up our, uh, if, if we need to build a giant telescope, we'll be setting it up there. Oh, crud.
Who stretch? Oh yeah, that's gold there. And it's less found for me and more blue one up for me. Short one string. Just the one. I'll be able to make string out of cattails. That's the lumber supply. Almost expended. That's okay. Currently at Y68. And I can afford another 26 ladders worth, which will bring us down to nowhere because we have gold in the way. <laughs> An awful lot of gold in this here hill. I don't understand what you're even uh, asking, Dean. Uh, ZJB, I do play Stardew Valley occasionally. It's especially a travel game for me now that it's out on the Switch. It's a fantastic and wonderful game that I just don't... Uninspected Mineral. Okay. How does this work? I need a mineral sizer, which is made with a bunch of stuff. Vice allows you to crack the unexpected mineral to let the bearing gongoos be exposed and identify. What? Okay. Let's make mining more complicated. Okay, so let's see. If you could get food from being an egg host, would you? Uh, if an icky bug used your body as a heat source and not all survived, would that be a bad thing? That seems like a terrible idea. Like, hosting a parasite. Like, intentionally... It seems like bad juju. Okay, that's cool. Hey, iron! I'm also not certain how... That would end up working out. I mean, the calories gotta come from somewhere, and if it's feeding off of your body, then you're not generating excess calories unless you're basically doing it Mad Max style, where you're, like, feeding the dead bodies of people to maggots and eating the maggots. I hear you, zombie. I just don't see you yet. What are we doing on iron? 18? Okay, not bad. Silver! Can't mine the silver. That is sad. And mine the tin. I'll take the tin. 
Neotech. That is a mod that I do not know. Ender Ore from Tiny Progressions. Also can't mind that. Spice harvesting? You mean, uh, like, in Dune? Yeah, that was incredibly problematic and bad. How many people ended up dead? But, I mean, we're talking about, like, eternal life when you're talking about spice harvesting. Yes, the wealthy and powerful will do horrid things to the world if the uh, payoff is eternal life. This is kind of a known quantity. Hey, look, more gold, yay. Um, bring me your string. Correct. Nice, we actually got string out of it too. Winning! Let me just spaz that all over. Ah, I need to go chop down a tree, don't I? There, now we have that all-important piece of Minecraft technology, the bed. Time travel technology acquired. And I'm going to take another refresh room break. You can probably expect a lot of those today.
back in action. And, uh, Dean, I don't think that it's, uh, um, symbiotic if it's occasionally killing people. It's hard to make an argument that this is causing your death, but it is a symbiotic relationship. What's the benefit to humanity? For a symbiotic relationship to exist, both species must benefit. That's not a very, very good benefit, though. You don't ever need to eat again, but the process might kill you. Like, eating isn't just something that we do because we have to. It's something that most people actively enjoy to an extent. We like to eat as a species. It brings us pleasure. Not ever needing to eat again would be seen as a bad thing by some. It's not a straight up uh, onus. What if poop was a prime food source for embryonic development of an egg laying species? I mean, that already exists. Looks like I'm stuck to an iron bucket. So we need at least these three cooked the old-fashioned way. Uh, thanks for giving me another Actually Editions manual. That is... Oh, maybe now that I've got the Knowledge Bringer achievement, it won't give me any more. Throw that on the ground because we're terrible litter people. Failed me. There we go. Better. I could have a trash can, Cooper, but I don't right now. Uh, th I think that you're, I mean, I'm still not seeing a benefit to humanity though, Dean. You're trying to say that this is something that's supposed to be symbiotic, but you are failing utterly in telling me how this benefits me. put the... Oh, I never actually put the iron in there. Wow. 
Wow. Uses less glass. Oh, we got a Tinker's Tank. Neat. Can't remember what the uh, better early option is. The seared window. Or the seared... Oh, seared cage now. I guess it's a matter of what do you have... Mo oh, I can I say cannot store liquids. Sadness. But I'm glad that that exists now. Yeah, none of that seems like a direct benefit. Being dependent on an outside species is a disadvantage, biologically. We may actually get past the going through the motions early game part of this uh, pack sometime soon. Anyway, I think we're going to uh, move on from that topic now, Dean. As potentially interesting as it is. Because there's... I, I'm, we're not getting anywhere with it, you know? Really? I didn't even get a piece of the cool armor he was wearing? Lame. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere with it, and I'm not convinced that there's anywhere to get with it, either. Uh, what just happened? I should have waited and gotten, you know, more stuff together. I can't imagine any realistic conditions that would, you know, force this to happen, Dean. Where we wouldn't end up instead just um, murdering and eating the species outright and not relying on it, to, not attempting to establish any sort of symbiosis with it. I mean, we're humanity. War is kind of what we do. bit of our thing. Wow, that tree had issues.
So, looks like there's going to be use for a Lumber Act after all, simply because the range on Ore Miner in this pack is significantly curtailed. I am going to want better tools. Good. That's actually a major issue that I have with many packs that make use of Ore Miner, is you don't care about getting better tools ever. I mean, why would you? You've got Ore Miner. Chock full. Imagine that. Drewing rack. How about a drying rack instead, eh? Leather. You have a strange way of spelling Bane, Pythor. That was poorly placed. He's the size of dogs? We wouldn't struggle at all. Wouldn't slow us, wouldn't even slow us down. Every natural threat that we've already obliterated in the world is bigger and stronger and meaner and etc. than us. We've already deal dealt with gargantuan things that are poisonous. Unless you're attributing, uh, you know, intelligent thought to them, then they're not going to be a problem. And if you are, then, I mean, all bets are off. We're dealing with a another intelligent race, and honestly, they're probably going to try to wipe us out, because that's what, uh, the only example of intelligence we have hates and fears things that are different, and is likely to try to kill them, because they would. Sigh. None was the wrong button entirely. Put this on one by two.
What's that mod that adds the ability to go up and down ladders quickly? Is that part of Quark? I don't think I've ever noticed those new sleeping effects. I like them. Got a ways to go yet. We're only getting started. However, now that I've got a bucket, I should make a proper farm. Whoa! That tree also came out weird. And we have creepers. Thank you for the info, Neo Mali. Where'd my flint go? Darn it. Well, that didn't turn into leather at all. I don't know why I got it in my head that uh, monster jerky turned into leather when put on a drying rack. Am I going to have to go hunt cows in this pack? I mean, I can make cow essence, but that requires cow chunks, which requires leather. I can hunt rabbits. I can hunt imps in the nether. That's an option. I can reconstruct it. Okay. So we can actually additions our way into leather from zombies. Steak cooked. So cooked meat will turn into leather. Weird. That's different. Seasoning rack? Okay. We can make one of them. Charlie, thank you for the follow. Follow. Charles Lewis. Lightning Crusher from Lightning Craft. Okay. Uh, that's on the list of weird mobs, what I don't know much about. Uh, got dirt. Okay, that's cool. Where did all the flint go? Uh, it's on my hotbar. Was it always there? Am I blind? I'm probably blind. Hello, Draconic Rose. Yay, it wasn't always there. I'm not going insane entirely.
Aha. That was fantastic. And I will never remember that. Neo Mally. Yeah, nope. Neo Mali, is that what you're going for? With the, that extra H in there, it looks like you're going for Neo Mali. Because that indicates that that's where the emphasis should be placed. Mentat does not do names well. We got we got drawers. We do have storage drawers. We also got colossal chests. That's an option. Storage drawers or giant or wooden colossal chests for force storage. Let me know, folks. That I okay. I can't like. I can't even think of a way to mispronounce your name. Maybe Dracon Iros? No, no. Glad you like it. an iron all-in-one tool. That was our initial. That was in durability. Could be worth it. Colossal chest. All right. And we got two quasi requests for colossal chests. All right. So it all starts off with some chest walls. Hmm. Let's go with a, uh, let's see, how many? Three, six, eight, 16, 17, 
Uh, wait, no, I need nine and 18 and eight more is 26. But one of them needs to be this. So this will be our farm chest. And it's basically just a multi-block chest. You build the walls, you leave it hollow. Or, you know, you fail entirely because you're terrible at this game. Draco Nicros? Necros? Draconian Rose. I mean, that's not so bad. Draco Rose! Boom. It's just a colossal chest. See? Simple and intuitive. Can't shift click things into or sort the inventory though, so you know, be aware. You can do it by button, but it doesn't like it much when you click that button. Yeah. Inventory tweaks, inventory sorting does not uh, like the colossal chests. They get better after you get past uh like the wooden stuff from what I remember. Like, you can get to copper, make different looking chests, they can have different effects. You can upgrade and downgrade. And they get gargantuan. They can interact with pipes. Yeah. You have to use the interface. That's all. Oh, there, that might be a good use for them. The lack of uh, sorting is definitely an issue. Not gonna lie. Apparently like the thing to say. I don't know. I don't understand this line. It definitely has issues with sorting. <laughs> in in tweaks is not set up to handle it. I mean, it's basic multi-block stuff, you know? It's been being used since, like, forestry multi-farms. Having a core block, the extra, the, you know, structure block, and the, uh, um, interface all being separate things. I mean, not that I'm 
dissing what Greg has done. I'm just saying that that particular innovation is not his. Oh, hey, you know what? It's nighttime. Let's do something about that. Hurry, 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 hurry. Whew. That was cutting a bit closer than I liked. Oh, you can do, uh, you can do, um, basically all kinds of different sizes with the colossal chest. I just did a 3x3x3 three by three by three because reasons. Rip. Force of habit, almost. like this rock mod is trying to make Minecraft scientific again when it never was in the first place. Bing? Ah, growth tick. Hmm. Let's go get more seeds. Kind of wish you could just plant rice on the water. Ooh, we got coffee and shoops. No luck yet. Good. Can make magic beans and bean stew. Bean stew will be great if it stacks. Oh, hey, we can make stock. Nice. We can turn beans into stock. That opens up a whole lot of potential cooking options. It better have cooking for blockheads in it. A sheep, anyway. Which I accidentally punched just now. Seems to be a trend of this stream. Accidentally punching sheep. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you on that one, Draconic Rose, other than to ask what uh, browser you're using. And suggest that it might not be the connection, it might be the computer. It's always an option.
I mean, remember that your um, computer has to receive and playback the video file in real time. Barren little survival island that we got going on here with a gravel beach and a sand beach. The world's most depressing lake. Really, it's a tidal pool more than a lake. Interesting to me that I can shift control click out of there, but not into there. Hello, creeper. Really got to do something about that. <laughs> someday, someday. Am I completely out of lumber? I seem to be. Unexpected. Put it all in here. Probably did. Did. Wouldn't surprise me if uh, it's if the program is asking your computer to constantly be handling different levels of encoding. Hello, Harmony. Your name I recognize. There, there isn't a whole, a whole lot of uh, astraling or uh, anything yet. I need to uh, figure out how to even get into some of the uh, astronomy. I assume it's all Galacticraft, which means I probably need to get, like, resource generation going. Some sort of uh, ordering operation moving so that I don't have to do it all by hand. I believe in you. Yay. Yep. Transcoders come early to uh, affiliates, but they're not a guarantee. So I need to have, you know, more than zero viewers. Apparently today, 24 is enough. Yes, I've again gone into this pack blind, Harmony, so if uh, you care to share tips on things I should be focusing my time on, right now I'm like, 
building a chicken ranch because, um, I don't know. It's there. It's what I felt like doing. <laughs> some, some days are more chill than others. Today's a chill day. We're just gonna be loose. Within limits. Let me put that out there before someone takes advantage of my good humor. Boy. There are all of the monsters nearby. Whew. Right, let's just uh, head for the other end of the island and let some of them despawn, huh? That sounds like a good idea to me. Yes, it absolutely does, uh, Draconic Rose. In fact, they detail it in... The, oh. They didn't... They either respawned or didn't actually despawn. Either way, it's a lot of creepers in my base. And, like, a cyber zombie looking thing? Just not what I need in my life. That talk is broken. I was reduced to pickaxing things in the face. Hello, Transcend Fear. Good name for a Halloween sort of day. Uh, I thought I could get away. Didn't work out that way. Yay, revenge kit. <gasps> this is two. I mean, you say it's doing you a favor, but I'm sure some people are enjoying my uh, hijinks. So it would be more doing you a favor, Cooper. Not that I'm intentionally being argumentative today. I don't know what's up with me. There. We've got torches here and there now. Things will only spawn at night inside of the base area. Eventually we'll expand that to the island. 
Where was I? Right, chickens. Coop. Hello, chicken. Come here. Small parade of cars going by outside, which is odd for a residential uh, neighborhood. A dead-end residential neighborhood, to be specific. Definitely not a funeral. Unless someone held it in their private residence? Yeah, that's probably the, uh, approach. Kind of don't want to mine, like, uh, like, quarry this island, though, you know? says the sheep. What options do I have a quarry? Extra utilities too, quantum quarry. I'm sure there's a bunch of other options. I've got actual additions. I've got all kinds of tech mods. I just haven't investigated. There's no easy to get worry though just the quantum hello chicken come along do i need to bonk you chicken because it will bonk you come on come on That chicken's following me. Why is this chicken not following me? I like the vanilla Minecraft animal mechanics when they work. But they still seem to fail more often than not. There you go, chickens. Make more chickens. Last. I'm sure there's other options. Like, I don't know if we, we might have environmental tech. We might have a couple of different things. Just, it's just not called quarry.
Oops. Nature of wheat flour. Don't I furnace that into bread? I do. Okay, cool. Brush a hammer? Oh, Tinker's Hammer. Yeah, that's an option. Pick uh, 150 durability. Uh, so an all in one tool give me four times the durability for less than four times the cost, and that seems worth it to me. That's not the usual pickaxe recipe. Effectiveness has been removed, used for crafting only. Oh, hey, Paxel, durability 250, darn. Yeah, all in one tool. One, two, three, four, five, eight, eleven. Yep. Nature, yeah. Don't feel the need for those when I've got flax from uh, actually additions. Isn't canola power a thing? Or am I misremembering? Toast power is the thing. Yeah, that's an option. Yeah, toast. Thought I'd get the hemp seed. Four tiers of canola oil and each makes more power. Thank you, Morlin. Yay, I almost have a memory. Oh. 
Nobody saw that, right? That's better. I know it made it more OP, but like my favorite thing about Tinker's tools used to be the uh extra um like the experience and abilities you got. Sounded a lot like a silverfish. And I dislike that. It's an endermite. Whatever. I got I I got ender dust, which I can turn into ender pearls. Wait, what else can I do with it? I can make void powder from Railcraft. Osmium. Blue Adventuring. Is there anything special I can do with you? I can cut you into blocks. And lanterns and other fancy things. So this uh, Rock Hounds is mostly a cosmetic mod, huh? Put that right back where I found it. Ow. first bit of aluminum. We're gonna need a lot of that. <laughs> Sucks to be you, Endermites. agriculture, grow our way to resources. Basically, how do we want to generate resources? <laughs> Lots of options. But exploring different dimensions and quarrying them uh, with science seems like the point of the pack. 
a capital S science with an exclamation point. Exclamation point's very important here. Thank you, Draconic Gross, for demonstrating. Mining, mining. Just grabbing random stuff. Don't even have a particular goal at the moment. Just making sure I have a, you know, nice supply of all the things. Well, we certainly are doing pretty good on silver and tin. That stuff is abundant. Not hurting for osmium either. At least a nice initial amount. We've got our ore doubling moving. Time to head back up. Which way is up? What is that stuff? That is Portoro. which is another cosmetic block, basically. I mean, it looks neat. It's got that going for it. Yeah, look at me be cool. I'm gonna make myself a little uh, hole in the wall there, and then I'm gonna throw myself at it, and it'll be good. Nope, didn't work out. Black Tiger Eye, another rock hound rocks. Alright, we're gonna see if we can get back upstairs and eat something before we starve to death from too much vein mining. Or, or excavating. It's where I usually am this time of day, Steam Powered Cat. Do I? I don't think I brought any Om Noms with me, except that I've got the zombie food. I guess I could, you know, chew the coffee beans, but meh. What's the worst thing that happens? I die.
Huh, not even that. There's no starving to death. So, what can I do with coffee beans? I can make espresso with sugar and three coffee beans. Really, I need to get some sugar growing, huh? Four food and a three seconds of, and three seconds of speed. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yes. And seemingly decent saturation. Gotta move our great far uh, farming chest. It's a colossal chest, Hisito. RF Tools Builder Quarries. Okie dokie. Hmm. I was expecting all of the things in it to come bursting out, but they didn't. I think I like storage drawers a bit more, just because it's, you know, somewhat organized. Alright. I need to take another... Brief restroom break. Back soon.
I wonder if I break that controller block if I lose all those items, though, Koopfer. Okie dokie! Uh, where was I? This is why I'm just going to use storage drawers. It stays more organized. I know it's overdone, but meh. Eh, my computer can take it. Thank. Darn. Hoping for, you know, better builder's wands. Or high is a bit too much, I think. Perfect. Ooh, 
deck of craft has trash bins. Brain's not working today. <laughs> not at all. quite night enough yet for a nap. I want a dirt. We slowly advance past the point of cave living. I'm all, like, spending lots of time and energy thinking about how I want this farm to be arranged when, you know, I'm playing a pack about uh, going into space. This sounds exactly like Purple Mentat in action. I think I'm going to keep tending the farm, like, manually as I play through this pack. And I think I will keep playing through it on stream for a while. It's fun. There was a pot to make in pan. There it is.
Is it still, like, spice of life for being able to see, or is it... I can never remember the food and saturation values, so I like to have that data where I can see it easily. Oh, there's plenty of ways to automate the farm. I'm just saying I don't think I will. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the mod that displays food and saturation values on screen easily. Apple core. Thank you. Thought so. Let's add that real quick. <laughs> I'm not doing guesswork. There you go. Apple skin. Thank you. Useful information about food hunger to the HUD. Gotta love squeak. Though, honestly, I'm tempted to toss in that uh, nutrition mod. Which I don't remember the name of. That was in uh, one of the packs I was checking out. Arm Friends and Fiends? Yeah, that's the one. And the wait while Minecraft reloads. It's not insignificant. Yep, that's what I'm finding out, Cooper. A lot of the stuff that uh, I want in a pack don't show up in most packs, like controlling.
Bing. There we go. We're good. Alright, so stock is a one and a half, three and a half. Rice soup is pretty awesome. It's like double that, which is expected. I expected it to be better. I just want to know exactly how much better. Because I have issues, I think. Hmm, could we to the nether, maybe? <laughs> We're in a pretty good spot as far as everything goes. A little bit short on time, running up against the end of today's stream already, so I think that what we're going to end up doing here is... What are we going to do? I don't know what we're going to do. Um, Let's go get some more mining done, I guess. I mean, we need redstone before we can do any cool tech stuff. We've got a bunch of... We've got a couple blocks of gold in the smeltery uh let's get a whole bunch of iron going oh there's Paula cat getting home a little bit early actually But yeah, before we can do anything cool and tech-related, we need to get uh, redstone. Once we have redstone, then we can start thinking about heading into space. And, I mean, we need any redstone at all, but we also need more than that. Not sure what to rely on for various anything really in this pack. I don't know if there is a most efficient option. There probably is. There's always a most efficient option. It's just I haven't researched the most efficient option in any way. Not with this pack. But I'm thinking that it's since it seems to be fairly kitchen sink, I mean if I take a look at the at mech recipes, the uh <clears throat> um basic steel casing I mean it doesn't seem to be any different than normal. <laughs> yep. Osmium works as expected. Metallurgic Confuser is simple, easy peasy. Maybe we'll do mech. This pack. Not all packs not all packs use it, and most of them that do change the recipes around. This one seems fairly kitchen sink in that nature. It doesn't seem to muck about with recipes very much. <coughs> Pardon me, I got a bit of a cough going on today.
Really? Oh. Hello, Zito. Zeto Suru? Zeto Suru. I always try to name, even though I know that it usually ends in failure and sadness. Zito Suru, then? Zeto Suru? I don't remember which was the second attempt, even. I just kind of cycle through every pronunciation I can imagine, and eventually I get it right. <laughs> Until I get it wrong again. We got that bit of uh, redstone that I wanted, enough to get something going anyway. Zetosuru. Okay. I'll forget that. I don't know why I have these conversations. I don't know. It entertains me. When I'm mining, that's important. Marble from Astral Sorcery. Yeah, give me that. I'm gonna dig into Mechanism... Astral Craft and Galactic Craft. Astral Sorcery and Galactic Craft. <laughs> I'd apologize, but clearly you keep coming back despite this. A little bit of a scare there. We're good. But yeah, this is a good first, uh, you know, dig in, get established, get uh, initial stuff going, uh, fun with this pack. I'm quite enjoying this one so far. It's interesting. Oh, the cotton's gotta go. Feel better now. How about you? Paper cone. I don't think that you're quite right there. Pull tip. Okay, good. I'm tearing it down for now. 
just want to redo this farm area. Or we call it a day. An idea of how I want it done. I think it's going to be fun. No, this is not the most space-efficient option. That is not our goal here. Oh, whoops. Sigh. There's an achievement book to give you some direction, if you care about that sort of thing. Divine Journey. I'll add it to my list of packs to check out, Chaotic Racer.
actually. Yeah, let's do it with stone. Much better. FTB Horizons 3. It's been... I, I've been thinking about it. It's... From everything I see, it doesn't do anything new. But, I mean, that's not the point of Horizons, is it? Never, never has been. Yeah, and a lot of the uh, unknown mods in it aren't really all that unknown this time around. I mean, maybe they're, like, haven't been used in an FTB pack, but they're really not unknown. Like, Evil Craft. How can you have been wanting to try a mod that's supposed to be unknown, right? Okay, that's a weird uh, way of doing it. Oh, it's just any two. There you go. That makes sense then. Eventually, we'll replace the floor in here with, uh... Uh, 
of the brick. But yeah, I quite like that. And slowly the sugar cane will fill in the entire walkway. And as the grass grows, I will have more worms to put places. There we go. All wormed up. Beans and rice. Live on that forever. You won't be happy about it, but you can. Can I get that worm back? Or is it just a... Uh... Nope, it's gone. Gone forever. That's okay. All right. We are a little bit past out of time at this point. So that's going to be all from me for today. Find me here again at 1 o'clock tomorrow. 1 to 4 is my weekend, weekday, not weekend, weekday stream schedule. We will be doing more. Of this in the near future. I'm going to be tackling some actual mod progressions instead of just, you know, making a pretty farm tomorrow. We're going to see if we can't get into Astral Sorcery and maybe get a rocket ship off the ground. Maybe. I'm going to do some research tonight on Astral Sorcery, how to get started, so I'll actually have some idea what I'm doing tomorrow. There won't be, there shouldn't be any random mass flailing. Thanks again, everybody. Bye-bye.